What's up, y'all? How y'all doing this fine, fine day? Well, yeah, yeah for y'all, y'all sitting in during the day. Anyway, this is the last one of the Kamala trilogy, I should say. If y'all liking this this content, I may do more of it. Not probably not more from him per se. Deco voice he 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 has a dope channel. Y'all go give him a follow. But uh, if y'all want me to show you more of the the um uh, the rabbit hole of <laughs> of uh what should I say the rabbit hole of uh politics that I've been down, then uh y'all let me know. But uh, if you fuck with your boy, you know, give me a like, give me a comment. You know, subscribe, you know, share, please share, you know, share always helps or just interact with us in the comments, bro. That's, that's, <clears throat> that helps way more than, you know, but, um, you know, I hit that like button. Oh, and hit the noti bell. But, uh, let's get into this one. Let's start this one up. Why does Kamala Harris sound like this in Pittsburgh? Thank you. when she sounded like this in Detroit just a few hours earlier. You better thank a union member. You better thank a union member for paid. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the one I was talking about where she code switching and not in a good way, bro. Like she trying to plead, like she's trying to please to her different crowds, bro. And that just, that's cringe worthy. Leave. You better thank a union member for vacation time. What's a big RC? What's a big idea? Taking my word. You're a cat, son. Cats don't eat worms. So how exactly does an Indian woman raised in upper class Palo Alto, California and Montreal, Canada develop a foghorn leghorn style speech pattern that only surfaces when she's speaking in certain areas? Because I do understand that code switching does exist and as an Asian person with a particular way of speaking, I can understand the issues that come along with you. <laughs> bro, Seth was saying, when you code switch, bro, there's a good way of doing it, and there's a bad way of doing it. And all of us know the good way of doing it. And if you got to ask what's the good way of doing it, then I got news for you, buddy. <laughs> I got news for you, buddy. You not sounding how people think you should, and fixing this to not have to explain your existence whenever meeting somebody. My wife called in an order. Uh, and what was your last name? <laughs> and this is somebody. This coming from somebody that played in the band at Vanderbilt. Boy, I tell. Boy, I tell you. Sorry, you just. You threw me with the British thing there. But what Kamala is doing isn't that. It's actually the antithesis of this. As her entire political career, it was advantageous to identify as Asian, so she did, and we showed plenty of examples of her being Indian in that video, but zero examples of her sounding hood like she does now. So just like her VP pick Tim Walls pretends to be a war vet, Kamala pretends to be whatever is in front of her, only to distract from who she really is. As when she reads right off the teleprompter, she sounds awful. Are you ready to make your voices heard? Ready to make your voices heard? Yeah. Are you ready to make your voices heard? Yeah. When we fight, we win! Which is only <laughs> overshadowed by when she speaks off script. We can see what is possible unburdened by what has been. So now they switch to giving her headphones when she travels, like the literal toddler that she is, just so she can't speak to the press as she pretends to take a phone call with the headphones still in her ears. So when she speaks off script, she's terrible. When she's in carefully curated interviews. In her defense, she could have been plugging in her ear <laughs> from the sound. I do that. <laughs> I'm just saying. She's terrible. So basically the only thing they have is pandering to identity politics. As some people will vote purely based on her being an alleged black woman. 
And I was gonna play a bunch of street interviews of people saying exactly that, but honestly it feels like cyberbullying at this point. To sit back and laugh at the people that actually accept whatever this is makes her black. Free the government should not be telling her what to do! Because oddly, oh, wait, she isn't uh, the only Democrat that does this. That's my fault, hold on. I, I sped it up. She isn't the only Democrat that does this. Makes her black. Free the government should not be telling her what to do! Because oddly, she isn't the only Democrat that does this. Traveling on our way of life. Nobody you know. What? Who is that? And why does she sound like she had a Southern drawl? Like, and that's not a Southern drawl. Trust me. Because oddly, she isn't the only Democrat like. that does this. Traveling on our way of life. Nobody you know actually <laughs> speaks like this, and for someone to even emulate how that sounds, you'd have to be re-watching old videos from the civil rights era and think, yes, that's the persona that people want for president. And this level of pandering has never been seen before in politics, but sadly today, there are people just stupid enough to fall for it. So if you appreciate my concise, light order commentary on the tragic stat- Bro, that's fucking- And what the- So, I heard us say this before, uh- I'm burdened. What the fuck did she say? Hold on. Uh -huh. People that actually accept whatever this is makes her black. Free the government should not be telling her what to do. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. It's something she says, and I'm just like, what the fuck does that mean? We win! Which is only overshadowed by when she speaks off script. We can see what is possible unburdened by what has been. That, what, we can see what is possible unburdened by what has been. What the fuck does that mean? Like, what the fuck does that mean? She said that, what was that, the Breakfast Club? No. What, where, where the fuck I heard her say that from? Oh, I gotta find the video now. But nothing she says makes sense. I think it was like somebody's like video of like places she's spoken and how many times she uses like different phrases. I don't know. It's fuck. They they after her, bro. They after her. But this is the video I was telling y'all about where I said uh where I said uh the different accents she uses for different people thinking is working like it's just weird bro like everything about her and during this election is very weird and then what's crazy about all of this is that she's promising things that she's gonna do when she gets in office and she's already in office make it make sense bro like really think about that you're promising something you're promising stuff that you're gonna do when you get into office like you're not already in office and i know the president and the vp has different jobs but it's still some stuff that you can make happen as vp bro am i tripping y'all let me know in the comments bro i'm not gonna make this a super long but please let me know if i'm if i'm tweaking out bro if i'm am i too dark am i too deep down the rabbit hole bro let me know if you fuck with your boy, talk to me in the comments. Let me know what's up. If y'all fucked with the video, give it a like. And if y'all want more of my rabbit hole paradoxes I'm going in now. I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to make lighter. I'm just trying to make everything make sense right now. Then give your boy a follow and hit that notification bell. I'll see y'all in the next one. I love y'all. And I appreciate all the kind words that I've been getting. For real. It means a lot. I'll see y'all later.